of potential to, to, to use. But I'll try to come now straight to the uh, core of my presentation and uh, explain what the European Commission does in the field of e-health. But before doing that, I thought it would be useful to stop for a while and uh, see together with you uh, um, the distinction between the process of invention and process of innovation. Why? Because the European Commission is active uh, in both these, of these spheres, and I believe these two spheres are gov governed by different determinants. Uh, well, <clears throat> invention is the process of investing resources, I put there euros, um, to create new ideas. So what do I mean here uh, by that is uh, that we invest in education, we invest in research infrastructure, centers of excellence, and so on, uh, to get new ideas, uh, to use them then in, in practice. And what the European Commission does here is, of course, you all know, uh, we have uh, the uh, seventh framework program, which is also uh, used for the uh, purposes of e-health. And uh, here I would just like to stress three elements of the FP7 program, so-called, and this is the ICT for predictive medicine. Uh, specifically, I'll talk for a few seconds, I hope, on virtual uh, um, physiological human. That's one project which is very interesting for the future. And uh, um, then we have research related to personal health systems. I'll come to that. Uh, in, with an example of telemedicine, and also ICT for better patient safety. Uh, this is one of the research avenue. We spend more or less roughly 163 million euros in the work program 2009-2010 in the e-health area, so it's quite some money. But I will try to be more focused now on the process of innovation. And uh, here, what I mean by innovation is that the, this is the process of converting ideas to activities to generate social benefits or generate market value. We talk about creating higher market value or more importantly for the field of health, I believe, creating additional social value, such as improved safety of patients, easier work, for, easier work for doctors, and so on. So in this sphere, I, I think we have to have different uh, elements or determinants in mind when uh, thinking about uh, the, uh, uh, the process of innovation. I put here of course, policy and po political will, and uh, Michelle already have, uh, has talked about that. Uh, and then financing, uh, market, industry, legal framework, and users, user acceptance. I'll just briefly uh, try to address all of them in relation to what the European Com Commission does in, in, on, on each of these fields. But of course, I promise not for a long time. Uh, well, first, policy documents and political initiatives. Uh, as you are probably well informed, we have e-health action plan, and that is one of the uh, framework uh, policy documents. But where we, I would like to spend a little bit more time is on the lead market initiative. And um, uh, well, in, the Commission has uh, created an action plan to accelerate the market development. And the e-health sector is one of the six uh, market areas that is considered to be a lead market uh, within the uh, um, purposes for, of uh, commission uh, um, activities. But what, just three messages that I would like to uh, pass to you in relation to, to, to lead market. What do we do there is we try to address the barriers of market fragmentation and lack of interoperability. And I think interoperability is specifically uh, very uh, um, pertinent um, when talking about e-health. We do here uh, through um, pilots, benchmarking, we develop standards and certificates. 
And then the third uh, element, which is also very important um, in terms of uh, lead market initiative, is we are trying to address the lack of legal clarity and also lack of sustainable business models. And thirdly, the procurement solutions. So these three elements are very important uh, uh, um, in the uh, initiative of the lead market. Well, then we have uh, the recommendation on cross-border interoperability of electronic health record systems, and uh, I don't need to spend much time on that. We already realized, I think, throughout the presentations how important it is that the systems are connected. It sounds very basic, but it's very difficult when we come to, to, to practice. And then um, the Commission um, also published a communication on the telemedicine, which defines the Commission policy roadmap to support deployment of uh, telemedicine services. I'll come to that later. So these are the most important uh, policy documents that I would like to flag out for you. And then I put also the uh, uh, indent that talks about e-health governance and especially uh, the uh, group of state secretaries that was uh, formed uh, last February and which of course has a very strong support by, by the Commission. And this is a very important step forward which I think we need to, to note because it is the political commitment of the member states expressing the readiness to cooperate uh, in wider deployment of e-health solutions. And that's something what Michel already has talked about, so I will stop here. And then um, perhaps few words on funding. Uh, while competitiveness and innovation uh, programs were already mentioned, Michel specifically mentioned also some projects that the Commission is supporting within this context. Well, I would like to stress here that here we are dealing with projects uh, that uh, we are trying to uh, promote the take up of the solutions. It's not anymore research, it is validation uh, in, in the on the market of the solutions that were uh, um, put uh, together. And then also one more a word on the structure funds. I think it's important to remind those of you who are interested that now it is possible also to use structural funds uh, in the uh, healthcare and uh, through that, of course, also in e health. Uh, well, um, market issues. Uh, here I already have been talking about the importance of interoperability. Uh, well, the main social value of interoperability, of course, is shared care and uh, safer, better quality and continuity of, of care. And the main market value of interoperability is, I think we all know, large market and transparency, low price, better quality. In terms of legal framework, well, I put the list of directives and, uh, well, Paolo already uh, was putting uh, quite, uh, really a good presentation about the challenges ahead uh, also in this field, which we are very much aware. But let me also uh, mention that the Commission is preparing a staff working paper on relevant EU regulations and directives that would provide good framework for countries to enable e-health and telemedicine services. So this is just something for you to, to, um, to uh, note. And then uh, also <clears throat> I thought it would be interesting to discuss, but we are running out of time, the user's acceptance here in the sphere of innovation, which is of crucial importance. And let just mention me one point, which I think it's important to note, 